sold us out to that maniac to borrow. Now that he's turned on you, we're supposed to save your skins? Incredible. Had we known Taboro was insane, we never would have supported him. He is no longer Hat Cartel. We formally shun him. However, in breaking ties with Taboro, we find ourselves stranded on the keb with you. We are prepared to offer generous compensation for seating in cargo space aboard the Ark. Cargo? Are you delusional? Your bodies take up more room than a dozen good people. Ah, one of the Republic's greatest heroes. Just the person we could use to bring some wisdom and perspective to the discussion. In my experience, wisdom and perspective are necessary qualities for anyone who desires harmony. Where was the Hut's wisdom when they mined my world to death? Most revered Republic champions, my masters apologize for this unfortunate situation. Surely we can reach a state of mutually beneficial recompense and earn passage aboard the Ark? My people deserve rescue. The Hut Cartel's leaders can't just beg their way out. Shalem's right. But these are the most powerful huts in the galaxy. We can name our price to save their lives. And think what that means for defeating the Empire. You think we should combine forces with the huts and attack the Empire together? We can't lose sight of the real enemy here. Or how much the huts fear you. Taboro has lost his mind, and these cartel leaders know it. They can't go back to him. They need us. Honored Republic heroes, you are known for mercy and greatness. Can you find it within yourselves to forgive our profound error in judgment? In many ways, we are defined by our mistakes. We can let them destroy us, or use them as opportunities to grow. Tell me, are you truly prepared to change? Honored Republic negotiators, my masters will happily continue debasing themselves, but Makeb's time grows short. If you provide safe passage for my masters and their cargo, they will fully commit the cartel to an alliance with the Republic. Surely you find this agreeable? Inform your masters that they'll be allowed to board the Ark with the other refugees. Personal belongings will be loaded as space permits. First priority will be given to food, medicine, and other items essential to survival. Our rhodium-plated statues will not qualify. We'll negotiate exactly what responsibilities the cartel has to the Republic once this crisis is over. We'll expect full cooperation. My masters wish no further hostilities with you. The offer is accepted without condition. I think you're the first in galactic history to force the huts into a deal they can't afford. Now all we need are those fuel rods. Dr. Ogarab is with Shalem. You should coordinate with them. Cartel has deserted you, Taboro. You have no allies left. Don't be a fool. Give us the fuel rods. I think you're overestimating your real estate, Taboro. When this planet goes, you're going with it. That inbred imbecile has abandoned all sanity. You'll have to dig the Ark's fuel rods by force. His palace is a testament to my artistry. I poured my spirit into designing lethal defenses. I also left myself a private entrance inside. Finding a way inside the palace is the least of our problems. We're heading into the heart of a lunatic's private playground. Taboro will have far more than my inspired designs guarding him. His most lethal soldiers and isotope 5 droids patrol every corridor. We'll hold this position until you get back. Without those fuel rods, millions will die. If you can't get them, I'm canceling your parade. Tell your people not to worry. We'll get those fuel rods no matter what. Be safe. You now have coordinates and the security code to my secret entrance. Once you're inside, contact me for more information. Don't die. Your hidden entrance appears to be unguarded, Doctor. Of course. Tomorrow doesn't even know it exists. He has no eye for such exquisite detail. He is also despairingly predictable, and almost certainly ranting away in his throne room while clutching the fuel rods to his bosom. 
them transmitting procedures to defeat the security protocols separating you from tomorrow. Follow them precisely. I'll be unable to reach you via hollow after this. We can take things from here. You've been most helpful. The Republic will remember your cooperation. Perhaps your Supreme Chancellor will reward me with my own private laboratory. The private Ticheron would be perfect. A last word of advice. Tomorrow asked for some rather unorthodox droid designs. It's possible he actually built a few. If so, good luck with them. Yuna, Niska, Chananga, Wachi, Kwospaini, Hauntinka. This planet may not be around much longer, but its people will always be part of the Republic. A Jedi only seeks confrontation when there's no other recourse. You've had plenty of time to be reasonable. This is your last chance to borrow. You left us no chance to get you out of here alive to borrow. Goodbye. Arc's fuel rods, as promised. Tomorrow's gone, along with his entire supply of isotope 5. The whole planet felt it. Lemda says the explosion triggered a chain reaction in the planet's core. If you have unfinished business, better make it quick. I'll take the fuel rods and get our people to work installing them. I left a shielded shuttle here at the camp. It's your ticket off Makeb. The rest of us are taking the Ark. You're sure there's nothing else that needs to be done? Have all the planet's refugees made it aboard the Ark? The ship is full and ready to fly. Thanks to you, we're about to achieve the fastest planetary evacuation in galactic history. I hope we meet again on Keylander Station. Shield rods are in place. Power levels are at 80%. I hope it's enough. It'll have to be. Lemda says there's a fissure opening directly beneath us. We're launching before the Mesa collapses. people make it off McKeb in time. Reports are still coming in, but so far so good. Please meet me in Keylander Station's conference chamber. We have much to discuss. Supreme Chancellor requested a meeting. Welcome back. I was informed that you survived a terrifying ordeal. You have my deepest admiration. Ah, here they are. Millions of hungry mouths to feed and nothing to show for it. You pledged Makeb to us, Shalem, and you knew it was doomed. We had no idea the planet was that unstable. 
Our offer was made in good faith. My uncle is a businessman, Chancellor. But in this case, he's telling the truth. You knew the groundquakes were getting worse. You used the Republic, knowing we'd be obligated to help your people even if you had nothing to offer in return. They didn't know McKeb was doomed, only that the groundquakes were increasing after the huts took over. They didn't voice all of their suspicions, but they were trying to save lives. Would we have acted any different? That hardly matters now. This is a debacle. We came here seeking resources to defeat the Sith Empire. Instead, we're walking away with debts and obligations. What about the hut leaders? You negotiated a peace agreement with them, didn't you? He's right. The cartel leaders have promised to support the Republic wholeheartedly. So we have a worthless ally and a broken one. Still, the Huts possess considerable wealth. Only the cartel leaders who needed rescuing agree to this alliance. Fortunately, they possess most of the wealth and power. They'll neutralize any holdouts. With our new friend's wealth and warships, we've gained a substantial advantage over the Empire. That doesn't address the problem of Makeb's people, however. I need a solution. The Huts destroyed Makeb. It seems only fair they should pay the cost of caring for its refugees. We can hold their warships in reserve and use them to protect vulnerable systems. Meanwhile, the Huts will build a colony for Makeb's people. I had to twist your arm to call the Republic. Glad you finally swallowed that spirit of independence. After everything we've been through, to receive such generosity. Thank you all. The people of Makeb need someone guiding them to their new home. I think you're the right person for that job, Shalem. I'm not. But you've shown me what a true leader looks like. I'll follow that example. I want to speak with my operative in private. Please excuse us. You've made the best of an unfortunate situation. Well done. The Huts want to be on the winning side of this war. And you've shown them who that is. We have you alone to thank for this alliance. Let's hope what we achieved here will ripple across the galaxy and rally more forces to our cause. This victory has already been noted by several independent factions. Our diplomats will be quite busy. For too long, the Republic has wasted time reacting to the enemy. We must fight this war to win by going on the offensive. Savor this victory. Return to the war's front lines and press our advantage. Together, we will be triumphant.